Introducing the Zero Point Generator. Hi, my name is Eurus. I'm an electrical and electronics engineer with over 50 years experience, mostly in power generation, telecommunications and IT. I've always been very interested in cheap energy production, especially from the so-called zero point energy. If you're familiar with quantum mechanics, you'll be aware that according to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, space is awash in a sea of electromagnetic fluctuations or energy. Now previously this energy has been inaccessible, but now I have done just that. With this zero point generator, I'm now able to tap into this previously untappable source of power. Space, time, energy and matter were all created at the Big Bang. Space is required to contain everything within the universe. If there was no space, there would be no energy and no universe. Before the Big Bang, there was absolutely nothing. There was not even any empty space. Now this is a difficult concept to understand but it is vital in understanding the operation of my machine. This device causes a repetitive rift in the space-time continuum around this receiver or antenna. A small volume of space is compressed, causing the energy in that space to be directed into the machine. I will now show you the various components that make up the system. Obviously the main one is the zero point generator. I'll show it to you from all angles. At the front we have a special rotor. I'll explain its purpose a bit later. At the back we have the energy receiver or antenna. This is made from a very dense tungsten alloy. For the generator to work this has to be screwed down into the machine to make contact with the magnetic field inside. This is the electrical board which is connected to the generator. I'll show it to you from all angles again. There's nothing really special about it. Now this contains several modules. Firstly, one of these modules determines when there's sufficient power coming from the generator. It then turns on the other modules which convert the raw power into 240 volts electricity at this power point. I will now connect everything together. Firstly we place the generator on board so that it doesn't go walk about when it's running. Now we plug in the connectors. We'll now need the load. For this purpose we're using these four 240 volt globes. Now that connect them in parallel to the lead and a plug. I'll plug it into the power point. Now the power point is on but the lights are off because the generator is not working. To start a generator we have to screw in the receiver then give it a manual turn. The generator will now speed up until it develops enough power to activate the modules and provide electricity. This generator will work indefinitely with no cost and no maintenance. I will now turn off the power point, unplug the lights and I will now plug in something that requires a bit more power. This domestic heater will do fine. it in, turn the power point on and I also need to turn on the switch on the heater. I'll set it to maximum and there we go. This will now heat the home indefinitely. Now you may have noticed that I turned the power point off a couple of times while the generator was working. This is not really recommended for an extended period of time. When a generator is working, we should always use the generated power. If there's no load, 
the generator power will simply start warming up the generator, it will overheat and eventually self-destruct. So if no power is required, we have to turn the generator off by removing its source of energy, which is the receiver. The generator will now stop. My name is Daniel from MyViews. Today I want to show you the latest technology and revolution in energy section, Magno 3000. The smallest power station in the world for your home. It can produce electricity by itself up to 3000 watts. In two models, US version with 120 volts and EU version by 230 volts, both with 3000 watts. You can use it to run your refrigerator, TV, air conditioner, or anything else. But remember, up to 3,000 watts. So you will have green, clean, and free energy at your home. You can use it indoor and outdoor. So you 
don't need any kind of fuel or you don't need to recharge it or any kind of energy to run the magma loop. Magma can produce energy by itself. But how? How does it work? So, by magnets. The permanent magnets inside the magma can push and pull each other. So, the magnets push the cylinder and generator to rotate. The generator produces the electricity. Of course, there are lots of boards and units inside the magma to make your electricity stable. So, you can use it for your computers or any sensitive devices and have the stable electricity. And now we want to see the, how we can run the magma. It's very easy. Just when you want the electricity, turn it on. And when you don't want it, just turn it off. You can use many kind of devices at the same time. Here we have the electric devices, power drill with 750 watts, just plug it, turn the magnet on, and you can use it. circuits here. You can use these circuits or you can use extra terminal to use the magnet. So it is easy to run, but for us it was not so easy. We worked on magnet for more than five years, 24 hours. So you can order it online now from our website or from our representatives in your country. Here I want to say thank you to Magmo team and our friends, our fans and our family and government of Georgia and Tech Park of Georgia. Have a nice day and you can see our website at www.magmo.org